Hey guys, um, I do have a new pastel action set and I wanted to kind of take you through a few of the actions and see if you would be interested in this set. Um, I have used it on several of my most recent outdoor natural light portraits and people seem to really like them. So I thought mm, maybe I'll just show you what they all do. So um, it's called the pastel set and let me see there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten of these actions and these ones are like most of the other ones that i make so you open up the folder and turn up, off every single layer starting from the top down to the bottom and then from the bottom work your way up and adjust and mask off to suit okay because these actions are made with a certain image right so not every image is going to be ideal for it um, but just keep in mind that these were made with mostly mostly I mean you can you can use them for anything but they're mostly for outside natural light or heavy flash outside with natural light so a mix of ambient and flash um, yeah so this image that we're looking at right now I shot Asha last year. Um, this was probably two o'clock in the afternoon. Sun was directly behind her, which is always the way I like to shoot. I had no fill flash, so I just adjusted, had, did a curves adjustment um, to boost up the light in her face. So all the retouching has been done on this image. I'll just zoom in so you can see a little bit better. And um, there we go. So you can see that all of the retouching is done. Everything looks good. And yeah. Okay. So this one that I'm going to work on is called Love Pastels. And again, I've already gone in and masked most of it off because I just wanted to show you what it looks like when you do that. But then I'll run a, a different one and show you what I mean by starting from the top and turning them all off and adjusting them. So this is a rosy hue, okay? And I completely masked it off of her, so I just painted it off of her. This next one, I actually didn't use it at all, okay? Because I didn't want any cyan in this, this particular image. This one is a really cool color toning one that adds in a bunch of teals and, and um, different colors to the highlights and the shadows. And this one, is actually only at 20%. If I bump it all the way up, it comes out in default, something like that. It's super awesome, I love this, but for this, I'm just gonna bump it down, like I said, to 20%. And then this is just like a matte, and all I did was inverted the mask, because it comes out as a white mask, so I inverted it and just painted it directly behind her. And then we have some little tiny pink misty things that one in the right top corner one in the left lower and then a bit of a little pink mistiness all around so now you can see if I close this whole set that's the before and that's the after and then from here what I would suggest doing probably is try your alien skin exposure for if that's your thing it's definitely mine um, but come up into your levels and I always look at my histogram I want to make sure that this goes almost right to the direct right because I want to make sure that it's light enough because I don't know about many of you but if I don't do this last step a lot of the images once you post them on social media or put them in for printing will be just a little too dark so I always come in and do this last step also I'll increase the matte right down here if you know you go really strong it's this but I usually just bump it up just a little bit and it just gives it a little more creamy dreamy look and that's basically the end of this image so um, I would be perfectly happy with how this looks you could again come in open up your set let's say you didn't like the the vignette I think defaults at 68% but you can reduce that as well if you want it a little more subtle okay or you can pull it all the way up it's entirely entirely up to you okay so let's go up here and close this I'm just gonna turn that off and turn that off sometimes with these actions 
you have to make sure that you start with either just a flattened file, so make sure you save your PSD and all your layers prior, then flatten and come in and run it. Um, I always do that, it's just the way that I, I do it. Now if I click play it should be perfect. Okay, so it's perfect. Again, make sure that you flatten. Okay, so now, like I said before, I'm just going to open everything up. And as you can see, the first layer is very, very kind of misty. All right, so I like this effect. However, I don't want it all over the picture the way that it is. So what I'm going to do is hold down my Alter Option key and just add a layer mask to it. And now I'm going to paint that on myself. So make sure you're on a white brush and just like I did in the last action, I do like having sunlight behind my subjects when I do this. And I do like having that overall buttery feeling to the background. I think it just adds atmosphere and softness. So you can paint it on wherever you want it to go. And as you get closer to your subject, just remember to always use a smaller brush so that the spray from the softness does not get on your subject too much. So now I'm just painting that effect off of her because when I used a larger brush, it obviously got all over her. And we don't want that. Okay, good enough, good enough for now. Okay, and then the next one, it says just deeper purples. So this one, it's really altering kind of like the lavenders and the pinks of the image. Um, again, I like it, but I'm gonna do the same thing I did before. Hold down my Alter Option key and click Mask because I want to apply this myself. I don't want it to be just Put across the whole entire image so in this instance i think that you should use this in the highlighted areas where the sun is hitting the foliage and stuff i think that would look pretty cool you could maybe put a little bit on the highlights on her skirt but i wouldn't go too crazy with this as an overall feel because it is on the cooler side and when you're working on an image that is in the sunshine you know that it's going to be a little bit more warm right so i'm just going to add subtleties to it i'm going to come into my properties of my mask and feather that out next one is my mist at the bottom and again you can adjust this if you want it's at 50 percent you can go a little bit stronger if that's what you want and this next one is rosy. So you can see that what this has done is this just added in a nice color balance that added some warmth to the overall look of the image. All right, so again, let's close this one. That's before and that's after. So really simple to use, but really fun creatively. Let's, let's do one more. Um, let's look at shy pastels. I love this one. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, turn this one off all the way to the bottom. So this first one, again, is the same misty look. So lavenders, all that stuff. You could just use this as a vignette if you wanted to. So just brush it off in the middle and keep it as the vignette. Or again, you can just invert that. So command I, invert it, grab a white brush and come up here and just paint that effect on the areas that you want. And I will be honest with you, most of the time that's what I do with these because I am a control freak and I enjoy being able to place it exactly where I want it to be. And this is a really pretty one too. I really love it. I think it's so nice. And we can come down here and add a little bit of this mist just around the darker outer areas of this action. And I'm going to come back and mask it off her because I like to get really close up to the areas that I want it on. So come back. Make sure that you make your brush little. And then you're going to come in and just paint it off. Alrighty. We'll do it quick and dirty 
It's not going to be perfect, but that's okay. Good enough. Okay, and the next one now is golden. Love this one. So you have to double click on the gradient in order to open it up so that you can now drag it around, right? So just put it where you feel it suits your image best. And I don't usually like to brush it off the subject because I think it looks more real if you don't. Um, okay, so the second one, we're just going to drag this one and figure out where we want it. I think I'm going to put it right about here. That looks so pretty. Okay, and then this one is an overall matte, so it just applies to the entire image. For this one, again, you can just adjust your opacity or you can brush it off your subject if you want. I think I'm going to brush a little bit off her. I'm at 100%, but I'm going to reduce it to around 35 or so, and very subtly. I want to maintain that contrast on her and in her shadows, but I don't want it to be... Oh, I'm doing the wrong one. Duh. Okay, let's undo that first. I'm like, why isn't that working? Make sure you're working on the correct layer mask at all times. Okay, let's come back. And now I'm just going to gently paint that back. And you can see the reason why I do that is because it just brings the contrast back, which will separate your subject from the background and make her stand out, which is what we want, right? Now I know that a lot of people like to use blur. So they come in and they do all this fake blur stuff to their image. But I'm going to be really honest with you right now. It's my opinion that if you just soften with gradients or a simple soft paintbrush, as opposed to using blur, it looks more ethereal. It looks more whimsical. It doesn't look like you smacked on some fake blur. So please, please, please just consider that. And this is a technique that I teach at all of my workshops because so many people are like, hey, Nikki, do you use blur? And I don't. Or they'll say, what kind of blur do you use? And I don't. I don't like it. Um, I will use the blur tool if I want to soften edges and stuff like that. But for the most part, I just use straight up paint brushes. Okay, so that's that. And the next one is a dream finish. So you can see that this one's really added in the greens, the light, light, light green, right? Now I sound like I'm from down under. Okay, so let's reduce this though because it is too much for me. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to invert this one as well because I don't want any of that green on her. However, I do like it around the edges. So still around 100% and now I'm going to paint that greenish look just around the edges here. Not where my light is because we worked hard to put that there but just around the edges here, like so. And remember, this is Shy Pastels. This one is really, really, really pretty. So just so that you remember. Okay, and once again, I'm gonna feather out that mask. Now let's just turn this off. So that's before and that's after. It's freaking beautiful. So run out and grab it. It's, I'll have the link below in, in the description. Um, one thing to consider though, especially if you're not in Canada, because I am, all of my prices are in Canadian dollars. So that's typically, usually 30% under what you would pay if it was American dollars. So, eh, you know, makes it easier and better for everybody. So I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you in the next video. See ya.